Hello everyone, so today in this video I'm continuing with Life is Strange because yesterday my camera ran out while I was doing it, so today um, so I've had to delete some of the videos on my camera already, so um, yeah, uh, we're good to go, um, I'm going to do the second part of it, I'm continuing from where we left off yesterday, um, I'm not sure if this will be uploaded the day after the other one, so I don't know if it will be yesterday or not, but um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so uh, I feel that. like the we used this last time anyway, didn't we? we got to here. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Okay, so we've got to take a photo of this. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <laughs> the controller vibrated too, so that felt really painful. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit! Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Hold a left trigger. I did it. I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured. It's so cool to have a power like that in real life. We can just reverse time whenever you want. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak Thank out. You, Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because Keep of it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those. When I took my selfie, children. Jefferson asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I I'll know this is for real. Kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. As you all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. 
Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Uh, I feel sick. It's a better excuse. I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Yeah. Max. Skip that bit. Okay, the Daguerrean the process. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects... Victoria just just, was just giving me like an evil look. You can learn look. more when you actually finish me. reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an Everyday Hero. It is. Yes. I think I need to talk to him again the last time, I but I'm going to go. Yeah. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future start. Skip that. Uh. Not sure if I have one. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. All right, go back. Uh, and then, yeah, yeah, all right. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's. Look at that. Uh, John Lennon said. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers. Good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. <laughs> Great. Okay, actually, I might quickly. Looks Victoria happens. hasn't moved from that spot. Yep, she likes Mrs. Jefferson. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, yeah. please. Okay, I can't now. tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo, then the butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am, or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Okay, yeah, but what you're gonna do is do. look at that. I need a hammer to break it open. To control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. Would and then you actually have to wait for her to get shot. Holy shit! I can't let this happen. There. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. That's time. We've already got the hammer still. So. Hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. 
I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. That's excuse sexy, isn't it? For whatever you're up to, your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. All right, I'm gonna report Nathan, I think. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion Later, in my office, please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything, since the Prescott family owns... There's lots to do um, outside here as well. There's him going into the office now. She looks so hopeful and pretty. Uh, okay. I wonder what happened to her. Okay, now there's some pictures that we can take out here. Um, we already took one of the butterfly, and now you can take some of this as well. I better read Warren's text before he blows. Oh, I'll read it. Uh, hi, Max. Can you get my flash drive? I need some info and space. Hello? Sorry, running late in the same day. Meet you in the lot, looking cool, you'll see my camera already. Hope so. Okay. okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Alright, I'll do that then. Uh, there's some other photos as well. Um, I might do that in the future when I've got, um, when, like, I haven't really got one up. Maybe when I finish the whole, like, chapter, then I'll probably go back and, like, do some stuff that I haven't done in the game yet. And I'll do all the chapters as well because I've got all five. So I'll do all five chapters. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. It's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. 
Oh wait, hold that pose. <laughs> That's so mean. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Alright, now we've got to wait, so I'll follow this guy. Now we wait again. Okay, let's see if this works. I wouldn't have to wait that long, actually. No, no way! No fucking you okay, way! Okay, Victoria. Oh, Samuel, sorry. She sort of deserved it, though. Pain is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo! Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> Speak. Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Oh, I don't know what to do. Um, I, I, I might make f make fun of his. He don't. deserved it. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait, hold that pose. Oh, I feel I a little bad for her now. Before I post this. Now please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it then. Because <laughs> she said that, so I, I won't reverse time, I'll just leave it like that. Okay, now we're going to Max's room, and it looks really cool as well. Hurry, Courtney! Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. It looks such a cool room. Like it's such a room, massive and everything. The computer isn't the best, but like, it's a quite cool room still and sticky note on her. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Now, Dana, so tell me the truth or rotten there. How does she lock her out of her own room? These are the real drama queens of Florida. Oh, she might have locked it from the outside when she's locked in or something. Okay, now let's go and see what Answer happened. You wuss. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're you cool. Are ridiculous. Uh, she's a friend. She's your friend. Friends don't sex with their best friend's boyfriend. No, probably not. How did you find out? You uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? It's Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Of course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. 
straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. All right, to the Victoria's room. She just left her room open. Boom. This is oh wait, she actually post, she posted the photo. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Let's do that. So the print is... Well, we're going to do printing them. There we go. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dina. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Great. Okay. Almost done. Get Probably the flash is. drive and then Must I'll go see Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down okay. again. Alright guys, um, before I, before my camera runs out again, it'll run out of memory because it seems like it's only got 3 minutes of recording time left so it is running out um, of memory at the moment. So I'm going to get this on here quick but um, thank you guys for watching this video. I'm going to do another one of these probably tomorrow and um, it's already saved from here so it'll go from here again. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Please like, subscribe, comment because I'm desperate and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!